really sad what the park's become. Um, what used to be once the place to come for, you know, football, for sports, for softball, for pancake breakfasts, parades, is now essentially abandoned and it's sad to kind of think about how that's progressed over the years. But it's exciting because we're in a really good spot and there's, uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And Rios really stood out during that process. It was their passion. They were really invested in this project and they wanted to be a part of it. There's so many really amazing um, opportunities and possibilities. We're really um, eager tonight to hear all of your thoughts and input so the scheme can evolve and become stronger and stronger. So we believe that this needs to be a representation of every one of you. This needs to be a place for people and people need to be seeing themselves in it. All three of these designs include a new purpose-built community center along with a new aquatic center, play areas, sports courts, walking paths, everything that the community wanted to see for this new facility. So when Rios brought the plans, just like really kind of brought it to life, it's one thing to see it on paper, but to actually see the 3D models, it was really exciting to actually see this thing come to life. So right now we need the community feedback just to really drill down on those, on those details of the amenities that we know are gonna be in the park, as we don't wanna build something and not have it, you know, be utilized correctly. So really getting all that feedback is gonna help us figure out where all the puzzle pieces are gonna exactly lay. Come on down to Circle City Center until February 21st. You can see our models there. You can also come to our pop-up event on February 17th, or you can go on the city website to take the survey.